Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. <coughs> we are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 74. Please turn to it. Page number 74 and today is our lesson number 22. On page 74 we deal with the notion of having to calculate take home pay for a person. Let's see what sort of information we are given. We are told that this person gets paid, the medical assistant that is, $15.83 per hour. Let's put it here. The pay is fifteen dollars and eighty three cents per hour we also told that uh, he or she I don't know they don't tell the gender okay so she she works she works three 12 hour shifts per week works three. Twelve hour shifts per week or thirty six hours per week. I was not aware of it. I did not know that's how that's how the nurses uh, scenario work. You only have to work three days a day, three three days a week. Good for you. Put in the twelve hours uh, in a day for three days in a week and uh, you can have every other day off. Can't complain about that. So it's 36 hours per week is how it works out, and we are told that this person gets paid. How do they get paid? Do they get paid weekly? No, that this person does not get paid weekly. We are told every two weeks this person gets paid. person gets paid fortnightly. They get paid every other week, every two weeks fortnightly. If you recall, if you've been watching the vocabulary video that is, uh, we learned the word fortnightly on day number 63. And for those of you who have not watched the vocabulary video and if you're interested in it, just type in the just type in the tag that I just wrote down, put down my name, Keshwani, and then put down vocabulary words day 63 and you will see a video in which we learn the word fortnightly. Let's get going. Should we digress for a second? Just a quick digression which you, which as American you probably already know but it was a big deal for me. What does this word mean? Score. Score has several meanings. The word simple words score has several meanings. One is score of course we know which is the score that you have in the game. Another score is in, in the music, the notes that you have in the sheet. Uh, but there is actually one more meaning. There might be more than um, there might be some other meanings. But the one more other, the one meaning that I'm talking about has to do with times. Just like fortnightly means every other week. What does score mean? Score is a time period. It's a score is a period of time. Do you know what it means? It means a period, a period of twenty years. I was going to say two decades or twenty years. A period of 20 years. Just like decade means 10 years, the score means 20 years. Which is perhaps why that lanky fellow was uh, babbling on the top of the hill in Gettysburg about four scores and seven years ago. Anyway, let's keep on, keep on going. So that's the information we are given here. All of this thing is very important. We are getting paid every other week, which means the total number of hours that will show up on the pay period on a paycheck it's not 32 hours, but the total number of hours that are going to appear on the, on the paycheck are going to be, total hours are going to be for two weeks, which is 36 times 2 or 72. We have to keep that in mind. Okay, enough of the talk. I'm going, I'm going at a too much of a leisurely pace. I'll be able to pick up speed. Let's take care of the deductions. Okay, here are the deductions. 
First we'll take care of the deductions and then we'll worry about the gross pay. We are told that the federal tax, federal tax we are told is 116.78. We are told that uh, they call it federal insurance which is 59.28. And of course what they are calling federal insurance you and I we both know that uh, That the federal insurance that they're talking about is the FICA and the FUTA. I'm sure you're familiar with these terms, with these acronyms. FICA has to do with the Social Security tax, and the FUTA has to do with federal unemployment tax, which is what they, they're combining the two. To, they're combining them together, and they're calling it the federal insurance. That's what they're talking about. It's not a health insurance. Do you understand? The state income tax. The state tax we are told is. 8468 retirement plan plan we are told is $75 even and health insurance health insurance we are told is $91.23 let's pick up speed here we're going I'm going too slowly so there is your health insurance you see that that federal insurance was it's not a health insurance I already explained the, that, that that refers to the Social Security tax, the FICA, and the Federal Unemployment tax, which is what I generally refer to as FUTA. Now let's round these numbers, okay? Never, never waste your time trying to do with precise figures with a, down to a penny. Nobody's going to give you extra credit for it. Your job is to be able to recognize the right answer in the exam as quickly as possible. And the answers are so far apart enough that you don't have to do the calculation down to a penny. Approximate it, okay? It's very simple. If it's more than 50 cents, round it up. If it's less than 50 cents, forget the pennies. So 116.78, I'm going to round it as 117. 59.28, uh, just because it's 28, I'm just going to ignore it. It's just 59. 84.68 is going to become 85. This is just 75. This is just 75. And finally, we have 21, 91, 23. I'm just going to ignore 23. It's just 91 at the moment. Here we go. 9 plus 1 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10, so that's 20, plus 7 is 27. 7, carry 2, let's see, uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 10 would have been 26, it is 25, 25 plus 7 is 32. 2, carry 3. You see, what I did was I added 10 first, and then I subtracted 1 from it, because it's easier, easier to add 10. 3 plus 1 is 4. So it looks like total deductions are four hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Now let's figure out the gross pay. The gross pay is where you have to. The gross pay is where you have to be creative. Don't sit, don't sit there and try to multiply fifteen point eight three by seventy-two. Don't make your life miserable. Try to round things up. Try, try to try learn how to round things. A rounding and approximation is okay as long as you do it in a smart way and as long as you are fully aware at all times whether you are underestimating or overestimating and by how much. Do you understand? You have to know that. So I'm going to pretend that this is $16. Okay, watch what happens. I'm going to pretend it is $16 and we are, we are getting paid for 72 hours. 72 hours. And this I'm going to pretend that it is $16. So 16 times 72, see what it works out to be, shall we? 2 times 6 is 12, 2, carry 1, 2 1s are 2 and 3, 7 2s are 42, 2, carry 4, 7 1s are 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. Watch what happens, 11.52, we are not quite done yet, 11.52. And now we're going to do our adjustment. Okay, listen very carefully how to learn to do adjustments. Are we getting paid $16? No, we're not getting paid $16. We're getting paid $15.83. We are off by how many cents per hour? We are off by 17 cents per hour. And we are getting paid for 72 hours. That's where we're going to do a quick adjustment. And the quick adjustment is going to be simply 72 times 17. This is how much we overestimated. 17 cents per hour. And this is how many hours we are working. Just two quick approximate, quick calculation. Seven twos are nine. Seven twos are fourteen. Four carry one. Seven sevens are 
that's a cent. I don't want you to confuse. I don't want to confuse you. That's a symbol for cent. Seventeen cents. Why seventeen cents? Because we are off by seventeen cents. We pretend that we are making sixteen dollars. We are not making sixteen dollars. We are not making sixteen dollars. We are making fifteen dollars eighty-three cents. The difference is seventeen cents. Is what I'm doing here. I'm trying to figure out how much we overestimated our, our pay. So seven times two is uh, fourteen. Four carry one. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Plus one is fifty. And then times one, which is very easy, is just seventy-two. So we get four, two, and eleven. Is that right? Is it correct or did I make a mistake? 17 times 17 times 72 14, 4, carry 1, 49 and 50 and then 72, 4, 2 and 11 11, 22 Yes, 11.24, 11.24 is the amount of adjustment that we need to do. This is what we got overpaid, so subtract $11 from it. This is our adjustment. 2 minus 1 is 9, oh sorry, 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, 1, 1. This is our gross pay. This is our gross pay. This was the adjustment one more time. This is our this this is our uh, deduction. I'm, I should have I should not have written, written here. Let's put the deduction right underneath. Four hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Four hundred and twenty-seven dollars. This is the deduction, and that's it. Eleven minus seven is four. That becomes three. Three minus two is one. Ten minus four is six. Ten. No, sorry. Eleven minus four. Eleven minus four rather. Not ten minus four. Eleven minus four is seven. That's it. That should be the answer, 714. Not to, this is not the exact answer, but it's pretty damn close to it. It's not exact, not because we did not do the exact calculation of the gross pay. Actually, we did do a very exact calculation. Actually, we did not. We left out this 24 cents. You see, over there, even, even in the gross pay, this 1141 11, 11 that we have here, even in the gross pay, we left out this 24 extra cents there. We took the $11. We took the $11 right here. But we left out the 24 cents. So even this amount is approximate. That's one reason why the figures are approximate. Second reason why it's approximation is because here we rounded things. 1116 became 117, 84, 68 became 85. So we rounded and we left out this 23. So it's not going to be exactly $714, but it's pretty going to be pretty damn close to it. You should have no trouble at all recognizing the right recognizing the right answer in the exam because the answers are not going to be that close to each other. Do you understand? They're looking for some gross errors. They're looking for some big mistakes. Like I almost made here, I, I put down 6 here, 11 minus 4 is 7. Understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.